Hey guys, Helvana Games here. I'm going to uh, show you how to tame uh, a griffin without a trap. And uh, my coordinates are 13.4, 91.4. I'm on the Cabalus map. And we'll see how we go. I did spot a griffin a, a bit earlier. 15 there, so... Uh, and we'll also have a look. I'm sure there's a higher level one. Or maybe it's been killed. I know there's a higher level one there, so... First thing we want to do is get that griffin's attention without getting all the griffin's attention. So if we could just give it a quick, maybe a quick bite, get it, get it aggroed, and uh, hopefully the other one, the other one didn't didn't aggro. So we'll take it over here, somewhere a bit quieter. And actually, we're going to just use this. Uh, we're on the Cabalus map, by the way. Should have mentioned that. Um, I'm just going to make my way down, and then I'm going to land it on this bridge. Okay, now. You will need um, probably to have some armor. I've just got standard tech armor on. You don't need the tech. It's just it's just for the uh, bit of protection. Um, it has de-aggroed. Didn't really want that. So I'll get its aggro again. In fact, what I'm going to do. Easier way. I don't have to get my wyvern. I'll just make sure my wyvern's on passive. It is. So maybe see if we can hit it with a trank at distance. That'll get its aggro. And what we're going to do is simply use the net gun on it. And... Uh, Okay, let's see if I can hit it with a trank. Yeah, so this is going to be a problem now trying to get it down here, but it's okay. Well, I'll just use the. I could I could just go and bite it again with the wyvern. I'm just going to go into range, get it to come down using my attack suit. There we go. It's, well, what you can do, I've tried this before with a wyvern is you can actually just hide underneath the wyvern's tail if you want and it'll fly round and round and round and not really damage you or well, not really damage you much anyway we're going to hit it with a we're going to hit it with a uh, thing as soon as we can get it there we go netted and while it's netted we're then going to knock it out and you can see netted has a duration of 60 seconds should be able to get about, I think, eight or nine, ten maybe trank darts off in that time. Should be more than enough to knock it out on this server. Obviously, unofficial. You may have to do this more than once. But on, on this um, on this server, we're going to easily be able to. Uh, I'm using uh, shocking tranquilizer darts as well, by the way. It's still 20 seconds left, that's going to be down with the next shot. Okay, there we go. Uh, what we want for griffins is actually uh, not really kibble, we could do actually with some some uh, mutton. So, what I'm going to use um, because I'm on a mod map here, I'm actually doing a bob back to base quickly and put that away using the soul traps, which is similar to uh, the cryopods, just quicker. Uh, I'm going to use the personal teleporter. So with the right click on the personal teleporter, I can leave a, a marker like that, and then I can just teleport back to base. Okay, I'm going to wait till it renders in, and then uh, I'm going to go get some. We'll get a hundred raw mutton from uh, the dedicated storage, and we'll teleport back. To that position that I left, that marker that I left teleported. So that's a really useful thing if you do forget to bring something along like I did just then. And then we'll pop the mutton in. And then we just have to set it going. Well, have a look on the term in progress thing and we'll, uh, we'll watch it. So it's going to be a perfect term. Of course, it's not a 150, it's a 145, but still, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you want more information on that, uh, that SS Personal Teleporter is the full name. Um, it's uh, part of the SS uh, mod pack, so there's lots of SS items, you know, all these things are SS. So the SS Tech Generator, the SS Dino Uplink, the SS Teleporter and so on. So the SS Teleporter it's, is exactly the same as the official Teleporter, it's just a very small... Um, it's just a very small rod that you put in the ground rather than being an absolutely huge disc. 
and so the uh, personal teleport can teleport you to anywhere where you've left one of these rods or anyone anywhere where you've left any form of teleportation as well as being able to teleport using that that function i just showed you there and, um, should have got some um, stimulant and it speeded up the turn but looks like its food is it's going to be quite quick Food's going down reasonably anyway. Uh, I have a quick look around, see if there's any plants. I mean, pick up some, uh, pick up some narcotics. We'll have a fly. If you haven't played on the the Cabalus map, I would uh, strongly recommend it. It's a fantastic map. It's got an absolute ton of dungeon caves, which are a real challenge. Um, no dinos allowed in any of them. Although in some of them you can tame the dinos in there. But uh, it's a real test uh, for you know experienced players. Um, each dungeon has an artifact at the end, so it's a it's a really cool way of challenging yourself and uh, keeps you interested. And this uh, Cabalus map also currently has um, the all the island bosses on it, so uh, you can you can do that. And it's got all the um, the dinosaurs as well, DLC features and that kind of thing. And I'll strongly also recommend playing it on the Beamosaurus or the Beams Cluster, B-E-A-M-S, Beams Cluster of Servers, which is an unofficial set of servers. Really friendly bunch and um, also extremely helpful if anything goes wrong. So uh, strongly recommend that cluster and really, really strongly recommend playing on this map. 65% uh, was one of those uh, muttons, so just one more and we should have ourselves a, a nice tame griffin. You know, I was going to look for some plants, but by the time I've got some, oh that's interesting, there's a, a megalania there. Now uh, for a pleura. In case you didn't know, the tech suit, by pressing the... Um, you probably know that the shift key allows you to hover if you hold it down. The right shift key, you don't have. You can press that and it'll permanently hover, <coughs> and you don't have to hold it down. So you can um, let's see hover and um, fire at things without having to try and to keep yourself up, and you will stay up there as long as you have element. So um, of course you've got, you know, it's going down 27%, 26%. 25% so it does go down quite quickly one element obviously required to fill it back to 100% but if you just have some element you don't have to have it on your hot bar you just have it in your inventory it will seamlessly just tick through that element and you'll stay in the air all that time so it's a possible way to tame a giga as well any any tame really that needs to be knocked out you fire it from above and uh, you're perfectly safe as long as you've got element I might go and have a quick look what's down there uh, while we're waiting. Oh, we've got it. We've got actually. Before we do that, we've got we've got a tamed. We've got a tamed griffin. Yep. Yeah, you need to put things away to use the tech suit properly. Uh, if you try and use some of the features while you've got something in your hand, it uh, tries to hit things and daft stuff. Well, there we go. Two hundred seventeen griffin. Um, it's eaten some more of the mutton because of its food stat. Um, yeah, a little tip for anybody that's new to knocking out terms. If you want to preserve your kibble or preserve the, the taming food after it's finished its term, you simply just put the other, some other food in its inventory. So if I was to put the, the mutton in and I also had some uh, normal meat and just put that in, it would eat the mutton to tame. The moment it's tamed, it would start eating the, the other meat to fill its food stat. It wouldn't eat the... Uh, wouldn't eat the good taming food so you can save save your taming food quite well by doing that that's not a bad griffin level 145 come out 217 300% melee damage not bad well yep that's it from me thanks for watching hell games and i'll speak to you again soon